This is just uh, a brief animation to illustrate the job of the financial manager. What kind of uh, problems are they facing? So we start here with the operating events and uh, companies are engaged in sales of their pro products and services and so on. Then money may come in through government initiatives and the like. Um, and then there may be contract receipts, uh, irregular activities for which there may be uh, receipts, uh, irregular receipts. So that they will come in as well as making it a total of uh, 1,700,000, whatever you want to call it. Then, uh, as well as operating activities generating receipts, there are uh, loans to companies. They borrow money, and that is also a cash flow. Now, the uh, operating events uh, come out in the profit and loss account, sales and other revenue, as it's uh, euphemistically called. So, uh, 17 uh, will match with that. And on the balance sheet, we get our debtors 17, and also the cash from loans lent to the company. So that matches with that, and that matches with that. Now, uh, that's all well and good. These are assets of the company, but uh, it's important that the debtors in particular are turned into cash. And the reason for that is we've got creditors, people wanting payment. And that's when the balance sheet starts to glow red hot, because you must make sure that your debtors are turning into cash and that your cash is uh, then being used to repay creditors and loans as and when required. The creditor's need is more important, uh, sorry, more frequent than the loans, but failure to pay either can have dire consequences for the continuation of the business. And then there are the other payments that, that uh, uh, um, are uh, made. So uh, wages, lease, rent, and other payments that would appear on the profit and loss account. So all these arrows represent the kind of cash flow problem of a company. Now, you may be looking at this and thinking, well, 17 isn't enough to pay 30. Well. It, it's a matter of timing. The 30 has to be paid in, uh, <coughs> excuse me, in uh, 30 to 40 days. Uh, it can be a bit longer. Uh, so it doesn't have to be paid immediately. So the debtors could be debtors from Monday's sales, for example. And uh, then Tuesday's sales could be another lot. Uh, and they may turn themselves into uh, cash quite uh, easily. And over the period of 30 to 40 days, plenty of cash is generated to repay creditors. So uh, normally your debtors and cash would come to uh, about the same uh, as the creditors on the basis that your debtors should be paying um, at about the same rate as uh, you pay your creditors, because from your creditors' point of view, you are a debtor. So you assume kind of more or less constant rates of payment. Payment to you and your payment to your creditors. And that's the case for, for many companies. And sometimes companies will have more debtors uh, than creditors. Uh, a little bit of a safety zone if, credit, if your debtors start to repay rather too slowly. So that's uh, going on to uh, ratios and analyzing the balance sheet. But in terms of cash flow, it is this process we've gone through, the balancing act that every financial manager has to carry out on, uh, on a daily basis.